Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Let's get started. Uh, problem is validate stack sequences. So we are given two integer arrays, pushed and popped, each with distinct values. We have to return true if this could have been the result of a sequence of push and pop operations on an initially empty stack or false otherwise. What does this mean? This means that this C, these are some elements which are uh, in pushed array and there is popped array also. So we need to, we need to have some sequence of push and pop operations. Let's say some push operation, then one pop, then some again push, then a pop. So some sequence, if there is some sequence between these uh, two arrays, uh, so then we have to return true. Otherwise we need to return false. Let's see what this is. So I'm taking this test case first. So this is push array, which is given to us and this is pop array. So if we say, if, if we, if we take a stack, so let's say initially I'm pushing one in it, then I'm pushing two in it, then I'm pushing three in it, and then I'm pushing four. So then what I'm doing, I'm popping four. So this first operation in pop, see why I'm not, why I have not popped three. Because see, first, op, first we are popping is four. This is a pop array, right? Pop sequence. In in the uh, this is pop sequence means uh, the sequence in which pop operations will be done. So first of all, four is popped. So that's why I have pushed all these elements till four, so that when four comes, I can pop four out. So let's say I have popped four. I have popped four. So now what next element should I have, I should have popped? I should pop is 5, right? But right now 5 is not there. That means what I can do is I can add 5. So here we have pushed till here, right? Now we will push this 5. So I have pushed 5. Now 5 is 5. So we got 5. Now we can pop this 5. So uh, we can pop 5 and this will go here. And from this stack I have popped 5. Fine. Then we have three and luckily three is at the top, which means this is correct, right? So three and uh, three is at the top and the next pop operation is what? We have to pop three. So we will pop three. So three will go from here and this pointer will go forward. Now again, two needs to be popped and two is at the top of the stack. So we will pop two and pointer this uh, will go ahead and one needs to be popped and one is at the top so one will get popped so see after this whole traversal we see that stack is empty so when stack is empty it means that these push and pop operations were correct these were correct so that's why output for this is true let's see let's take this example so in this example, just the difference is 3 is before 5 and 1 is before 2. Okay. So let me do one thing. Let me just change this test case a bit. So what we have is 4, 3, 5, 1, 2. 4, 3, 5, 1 and 2. Uh, 4, 3, 5, 1, 2. Yeah. So see. First of all, the C first element is four, right? Uh, right now we have nothing in the stack. So first of all, we need to have all the elements and we have to have till four so that we can pop four because first element which can be popped is four. We have to follow the sequence, right? We cannot go till go, go and pop five like that. We cannot do. So we have to follow the sequence. So first what I'm doing, I'm pushing one, then I'm pushing two, then again, I'm pushing three, then I'm pushing four. Now this is equal to this. So what I can do? I will have this pointer here. I will pop this four. Remove it from the stack. Move the pointer to the next element. So now three, three is needs to be popped and luckily three is at the top of the stack. So we can pop it. Three gets removed, three is removed from the stack and we go forward. Now five, fine, now five is there. But uh, this is not equal to the top of the stack. So what we can do is we can push, we can 
uh, again push the element so right now we pushed till 4 right initially now we can push this 5 so in the sequence also 4 after 4 5 is there so we can push 5 so 5 is equal 5 needs to be popped and it's at the top of the stack so we will push it out oh, sorry we will pop it out fine and this will go ahead now one needs to be popped and this array is uh, completed right so we cannot pop anything else uh, we cannot push anything else five was the last element but uh, we have to pop one and one is not at the top of the stack so this is a error case this is error which is that we need to pop one according to the sequence we need to pop one but it is not at the top of the stack two is at the top of the stack so this is a error case hence false will be the output for this so these this is not a sequence this is not a proper sequence of push and pop operation fine so here output is false and because we have to get the empty stack at the end right so i hope you understood this approach let's see once this is in code i will highly recommend just code uh, dry run this code once uh, on a test case so what we are doing we took a stack right we took a stack so we are taking a stack and uh, we have taken two variables i j we are where i is the pointer like variable which will be pointing to this push array and j will be initially here at zero index of the pop array and i will be at zero index of the push array uh, and i less than push size so we will go till the last element is pushed and i plus plus fine we will push the element we will push the element in the stack push the element in the stack so when see when we pushed four right when we pushed four after pushing four we checked whether this is equal to the uh just j uh, element of pop array or not that is pop of j if it is equal equal to push of i right i is here so if these are equal means this can be popped 4 can be popped so if not stack empty and s dot top is equal to pop j so this push i you can take it as s dot top also fine so s dot top not is equal equal to if it is equal equal to pop j just keep on popping from the stack and j plus plus that is we keep on popping four we pop from the stack and we do j plus plus fine similarly this will go on this will go on so at last if the stack is empty then only we will uh, we will return true if stack is empty we will return true otherwise we will return false s dot empty if stack is empty so this will return true s dot empty hence return true true will be returned so i am not dry running this on a test case why because i want you to dry run this code on this test case 1 2 3 4 5 and this test case and the other one which we saw earlier uh, so that you better understand right so that's your task you have to dry run it on this uh, dry run this code on those test cases those two test cases which are given here now see in this approach what we are doing we have time complexity is fine it's o of n fine uh, we are taking this for loop so it's o of n uh, this while loop will uh, see this while loop uh, in will not be contributing it will be some amount of uh, loop so we can take it as o of n only this could be some constant time for this uh, while loop so that overall will be o of n only space complexity is also o of n fine so this space complexity we will reduce we will reduce now so how we will reduce this how we can eliminate the use of this stack how we can do that so how we can do that is let's see let me write the test case again so test case was one two three 4, 5 was the push array and pop array was 4, 5, 3, 2, 1 4, 5, 3, 2 and 1 fine so see now 
this is the push array and this is pop what we can do is we have to eliminate stack right so what we can do we can use this array only as a stack as a stack what does that mean so basically let me take another variable i is equal to 0 this i will be initially here so this i will be you can say representing our stack this will be be the uh, i will be in the place where top element goes fine so this is the let's say we have taken i variable and that will be representing our stack let's dry run also as well as with the code so that you better understand so see i variable we have taken this i variable which is initially here and j variable we will take as such j variable we, we were taking for this pop array right that we will take as such just that in the first approach we have taken extra stack here we are just using this push array as a stack that space we are reducing so j will be here fine now what we are doing is we are going to each element in the push array each element in the push array and that is our what that is our val or you can say x that is our x right so uh, we have taken x and initially x will be 1 now what we will do is what we were doing here we were pushing whatever element was there right we were pushing it in the stack similarly here what is our stack our stack is this i right and this push array push array is the stack so we will have to store this x in the stack so we will write push i at the ith index push this element like add this element so this is like earlier what we were doing in the stack we were pushing element na, in the stack same thing we are doing here so we are pushing our element in the stack and we will do i plus plus meaning next element will go at the ith index because at this index this element is there fine because so x1 is currently here only so 1 will get stored here and i will go forward why we are moving i because the next element will go at this index fine because this index is already taken by one so now whatever the next element will be that will go here that's why we are doing i plus plus so this is the step of pushing in the stack pushing in stack same thing which we did earlier using a stack a stack push function right so this is one thing after that what we were doing if the top is equal to the pop ele array uh, element in the pop array we pop it and we increment the pop array in this variable same thing we'll do here what we are doing here while i is greater than 0 and pushed i minus 1 is equal to popped j so let's do one thing first let's uh, dry run this so i'm erasing this thing now see what will happen here pushed i minus 1 i minus 1 so 0 1 2 3 4 i minus 1 variable uh, is this index right so that is 1 is 1 equal to 4 no 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 so what we will do we will not go in the inside this while loop and again this for loop will continue and uh, x will now be 2 and this will store here so already it's here only similarly i will go ahead 2 is also not equal to 4 so i will go ahead and this will become 3 3 is also not equal to 4 so again i will go forward it will go at 4 so we will store 4 and i will increment here i plus plus we are doing right now we are checking if push of i minus 1 here i is 4 4 minus 1 index is 3 so push of 3 what is push of 3 it's 4 right 4 is equal equal to 4 which is right meaning this element this element we can uh, pop we can pop right we can pop so what we will do we will decrement i because we have popped the element and increment j because this element is already popped i minus minus j plus plus fine so if you continue this dry runs this once 
uh, why I'm not dry running is because I want you guys to dry run so that you know how to dry run. If you're getting any trouble in dry, uh, in doing dry run, let me know in the comments. And uh, basically, once after this for loop is completed, if i is at zero, meaning if the sequence is correct, right, i pointer will finally reach here at zero. Fine, because uh, see here i will reach at zero. So then, if it is at zero, meaning this operate this sequence was correct, because we there were like same uh, push and pop operations were in sync. And if i is equal to zero, we yeah, can return. So this will return true, and uh, yeah, that will be the case. So uh, yeah, this is the uh, problem. Let me know in the comments if you're facing any doubt. Do dry run it once. What we are doing in the second approach is we are eliminating the use of stack. Fine. So using this pushed only, we this pushed area only we have taken as a stack. So I hope you found the video helpful. Uh, time complexity. For this is O of n and space complexity is O of 1. No extra space. If you found the video helpful, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.